What's happening in the Orlando real estate market in January of 2022? Hi, I'm Richard Varner with Go Realty. There is a big problem with the way that the traditional media presents real estate data to you. The first major problem is that it's all outdated. The information that they're giving you this month was collected last month. And because they're giving you sold data, those contracts were negotiated 30, 60, and 90 days before that. So it's really old information. The second thing is that it's national data. Orlando has a very unique situation. We're unlike other cities like LA, Chicago, New York. We have a different thing going on. So to understand the market here, we gotta drill down into Orlando specific data and let's look at leading indicators that help us understand where the market will go from here. There are four key numbers that we like to look at. The first one is new listings. There were 2,797 new listings in December. That number was down 13.3% from November. The second number we look at are new contracts. 2,781 listings went pending in December. Now this number was down, but it was only down by about 6.5%. Next, we look at inventory. There were 2,581 homes available for sale in December. This number was down 15.1% from November and 47% from this time last year. Lastly, we look at median home prices, and I know this is the one that you're all most interested in. So the median home price in December was 340,000. This was the highest number ever recorded in Orlando. It was up 3% from November and 23% from this time last year. Now it's one thing to understand what has happened in the market. Let's dive into those numbers and let it tell us what's gonna happen going forward in the future. So we know that, there, uh, that new listings went down by 13.3% and new contracts or pending listings went down by 6.5%. That means more homes were taken off the market than were put back on. That means inventory is shrinking. In that environment, there's only one place prices can go, and that's up. So what does that mean? Well, if you're a home buyer, if you're considering buying a home in the near future and you wanna understand if the time is right, my answer is yes. In this environment with inventory shriek shrinking and prices going up, buying now means you're buying in the path of appreciation. Waiting means paying more later. So yes, now is a great time to buy a home. What if you're a seller? Is this a good time to sell? Well, there are, there's a couple situations where I think it makes sense to sell, and there are situations where I don't think it makes sense. For example, I wouldn't sell right now to go rent, okay? Doing that means you're gonna watch the home you just sold go up in value, and you're gonna pay really high rents. Rents are going up faster, even faster than home prices are. So I don't think it makes sense to rent. To, to sell in order to rent. Now, where I do think it makes sense to sell is if you're looking to move up. And the reason why is that inventory levels are lowest in the lower price ranges. It opens up a bit at the higher price ranges. So buyers will have to fight harder for your home than you will have to fight for your next one. Okay? so. It's always best to look at your individual situation. So if you'd like me to take a look at your situation and help you determine whether it's a good time to make a real estate move, then give me a call. My number is 407-982-9975. I'm Richard Varner with Go Realty. Thank you so much for watching.